at Dylan Diagnostics talking about breast specific gamma imaging and the gamma loc biopsy system. We'll be talking to Dr. Ben Welch, Director of Research and Development at Dylan Diagnostics. But first, we're going to be talking to Dr. Rachel Brem, Director of Breast Imaging and Intervention at the George Washington University. Dylan has a high resolution breast specific gamma camera that can image both invasive and non invasive cancers with a very high sensitivity. So the sensitivity of invasive cancers is 97, 98%. Of ductal carcinoma in situ, it's 94, 95%. And with this approach, this molecular physiologic approach to cancer diagnosis, we have shown that the hardest to diagnose breast cancers, the invasive lobular carcinomas, are best seen with breast specific gamma imaging than any other technology that's out there. So one of the important things to realize uh, that's a difference between BSGI and MRI is that the specificity is much higher with BSGI. So what does that mean? In premenopausal women who might have an MRI that multiple areas enhance, we found that with BSGI, only the significant areas, the cancers enhance, that the false negative rate in BSGI is much lower. And therefore, that's been, we actually use BSGI to help us identify the most suspicious lesion in women who have MRIs that have multiple enhancing areas. Could you describe how the examination is performed? So it's important to realize that in terms of clinical practice, you don't need any preparation. There's no room preparation necessary. And a patient comes in, is injected, uh, and are, is imaged immediately following the injection. You don't have to test for glucose levels like you do with any PET or PEM imaging. And we image for about five minutes uh, an image. We get four views. The technologist then shows us the image. And if we need any additional views like you get with mammography, be it a true lateral, exaggerated CC, a cleavage view, then we can easily get those. Could you describe the gamma log system? The gamma log system is uh, an addition to the camera, the Dillon 6800 that's used to localize lesions that have been seen with the camera in order to perform biopsies. It basically takes two stereo views of the breast and from those two stereo views we're able to localize the lesion in three dimensions such that we can put a biopsy needle and collect a sample for pathology. This technology allows the radiologist to determine that there is potentially cancer present and also allow them to perform a biopsy to demonstrate that the cancer is, is present. The gamma imaging is used as a adjunct modality to typically screening mammograms. Um, other modalities include ultrasound or magnetic resonance imaging, but there's a number of situations where this modality is useful in finding the extent of the disease or in situations where the other modalities just aren't indicated for that particular patient.